Hey, it's Adam here, co-founder of Engine Solutions, and this video is titled The Quest for the Lost PPMP. I made this video specifically for my engineering friends out there. I am an engineer by trade, and a PPMP is a professional practice management plan that is mandated by Alberta OPEGA. So Alberta is the only province in Canada that actually mandates it. Um, other provinces like BC just suggest it or offer incentive. Others don't even mention it. Um, but I've done a bunch of PPMPs now and I've seen a bunch of problems and I often have the exact same comments when I see these PPMPs. So why do I call it the search for the lost PPMP? Because I haven't yet seen a PPMP that I liked. They all suck. So if you're watching this and you're an engineer, yours probably sucks too. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I will clear, I will qualify that, right? But first let's talk about like business and management systems and, and frameworks, right? We often talk about the pyramid of how these things work with three layers, right? At the top, uh, we can call this leadership support. Okay, in the middle, we have your IMS framework. And then um, at the bottom, this is where the programs run, right? This is your effective implementation. Implementation. Okay. So, you know, what are these levels? So at the topmost level, leadership support, this is your vision, mission, uh, values. This is an engaged leadership in touch with what's going on, setting the higher sense of purpose, right? Your integrated management system framework, right? This is your high level standards. This is your um, policies. This is where management lives, right? This is where you're like, you're setting your way of doing things across all the different programs that you have in your business. Down here is where we have things like procedures, program plans, uh, work instructions, these kind of things. This is where you have engaged employees where people are working, right? Um, what happens is companies don't have this. They might have this, but it's not really backed up. And then all the different departments start building their own way because they don't have the IMS tying it together. Okay. Um, so back to a PPMP. Now PPMP, I actually think a peg is doing you a favor by making you make this because the PPMP doesn't talk about just how engineers engineer. It, it's, it's really a high level IMS document. It's giving you essentially free advice on how to set up your business to run. Oh, and by the way, you're an engineer, here's some extra stuff, right? So where and here does a PPMP live is the question. Most people seem to think it's all over the place. Like it's like a little here, we get lots of it, a little bit of here, a tiny bit of there, but it's like all over. PPMP lives here. It starts with the, the purpose. It lists kind of your mission, your values, kind of like where you are. It talks about some high level things. Now, a small engineering firm, PPMP, um, you know, it might have some details on like onboarding HR for, for example. But really, it kind of becomes a pointing document for all these things. And it just has some high level rules about like where things are stored and how things we do things. What we see with engineering, and this is back to what I said why your PPM sucks, is because it'll be very, very vague on things like onboarding, on things like um, competency, competencies, uh, things like that. It'll be vague on business strategy. It'll be vague on the kind of stuff that lives up here. And then we'll go into like crazy amounts of detail down here on uh, things like authentication and stamping, on uh, review processes and whatever, even down to like the color pens that the different teams should be using and stuff like that. So 
you know, and I think that's natural, right? Engineers know this part really, 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 really well. This is where the engineering happens, right? Um, the business stuff happens up here. And I think that is the mistake that, um, that engineering companies make. A PPMP is not an engineering document. A PPMP is a business document that happens to have a bunch of sections about engineers. So what I would advise you to do is these places in there that go into all this detail, pull them out, make them their own procedure. And then now you can edit that and play with that and do whatever you want without changing the PPMP all the time because that's your high level governing document. This thing then becomes just a pointer, it becomes way shorter, it becomes usable, okay? The, the second biggest mistake is, um, and I think, you know, this is how I would have done it as an engineer like earlier in my career. A peg lays out a list of like 20 requirements that you have to have, right? And they all have headings. So a lot of PPPs, they're like, great, I'll just match the headings exactly. And I am compliant because like heading one matches heading one, heading two matches heading two, right? And that that is how you're trained as an engineer to do requirements mapping, right? One for one. Um, the problem is usability. These requirements are just kind of listed. They are not taking account how engineering is done. So if you think about the story of engineering, someone comes in the, day, the door the first day, right? Let's talk about that story. Oh, great, here's the vision. Here's our strategy. Next up, oh, onboarding. This is how we onboard you. Oh, great, here's how we uh, test your competency and re record, like make sure you can do engineering properly. Then we're gonna get into like, engineering and then, then review and then like conflict resolution and then and then you kind of you know you can fit in things like uh, confidentiality or things like that so you can kind of lay it out as a story for the person that is using it not just one-to-one -one requirements mapping because then um, that story gets gets muddled so I hope that makes sense I hope that provides some clarity. So if you are an engineering firm, if you have a PPMP, um, I encourage you to just ask yourself one question and that is, does my PPMP drive my business forward? Does it help engage my people? Or did I just write it? I threw it on a desk in case I'm ever audited and I missed the point of the whole exercise. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Um, till next time. Thanks.